Hello everyone and welcome to this bonus DeLorean tutorial slash hot tip all rolled into one. Today what I'm going to be having a look at is how to composite objects into backgrounds without using layer masks. So no worrying about copy and pasting layer masks everywhere, no worrying about fringing or anything like that. Simply using blending modes, I'm going to composite my DeLorean into my background. So let's get started. This is just my MXI that I've opened up in Photoshop containing my render and my alpha. And here is my separate render that I've done that contains my shadow layer. You can't see it at the moment, but here it is under here. And then finally I've got my background. Not forgetting that it's 32-bit to make sure that it'll work in my Maxwell MXI. And the first thing I've got to do is to copy my background and my shadow layer into my render. So just right click, duplicate layer, and then select the proper document. And the same with the shadow layer. Now I've got all of my layers in one document, I just need to rearrange them. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this background layer which is from the original Maxwell render. Then I'm going to put my compositing background at the bottom and my shadow layer above that. Then on my render layer I'm going to change the blending mode to add. But then in my background mask and in my shadow layer I'm going to change my blending mode to multiply. And it is as simple as that. Using just blending modes, no alpha layers at all, I'm able to composite my object into my scene. And remember, you want your render layer on the top, set to linear dodge add mode, your background mask underneath that, set to multiply, your shadow channel underneath that, set to multiply as well, and then finally your background set to normal. Thanks very much for watching, I've been James Coleman, a product design graduate from the University of Brighton and Maxwell Render mentor and tutor in South East England. Email me for more Maxwell Render help at maxwellrenderbrightoncdc at gmail.com and follow me on Twitter at jcommon underscore design. Thanks very much. I'll see you again soon.